I'm Josie Lewis and today with Crayola I'm going to lead you in a project that's for once geared for grown-ups because heaven knows we're all just hanging out at home watching Tiger King again and it's time we dump out the craft drawer and get our hands messy. Today the project is what I call the fire rainbow. Before we get going with today's project, make sure you visit Crayola.com crafts for tons of ideas and inspiration for fun home projects. Also use hashtag Crayola crafts to share your work with the world. And here's an important thing I want to tell you. For me, art is really all about the experience. As an adult, it's sometimes hard to allow ourselves the opportunity to use art supplies and have an experience. We're really focused on the end result and often get frustrated and discouraged. So in this project, I wanna flip that script. I want to encourage you to enjoy the actual process. So pour yourself a beverage, put on some tunes. So for the supplies for this project, you're gonna need some crayons. I picked out some colors that I liked. You're going to need a blow dryer. And if you happen to have a heat gun, that can be super handy. I used a heat gun for most of this project, but a blow dryer works fine as well. I used a 12 by 12 black canvas, but any size canvas or wood or even cardboard or mat board will work great. I cut all the paper off the crayons using a utility knife, which is sharp, so be careful if you go that route. And then I started melting those crayons right onto my canvas in a loose rainbow pattern. You're gonna want some decent ventilation with this, an open window and a fan or something because the hot wax crayons do get a little bit smoky and you don't wanna breathe that stuff in. The blow dryer and the heat gun will end up pushing that melted wax around on your canvas and you can actually kind of blend the colors that way, which is a fun thing to do. And as you can see, the wax is splattering around like crazy. It was all over the place by the time I was done. So you do want to protect your work surface, throw down some newspaper or a, you know, a cut up cardboard bag or something like that just so you don't get wax everywhere. Another thing to keep in mind is that the hot wax is going to be pretty hot, so don't burn your fingers. And now we're getting to what I consider to be the magic of this project. When I get the first layer of wax down, I let it cool up a little bit. It just takes 20 minutes at room temperature. And then splatter white crayon all over your surface. And then once you have a nice all over pattern, you can hit it with your blow dryer or your heat gun and melt that white crayon into your color. And you can create all of these beautiful shapes where it kind of blends in and creates these gradients. You can really direct how it's going to move just based on your angle. And it's also the kind of thing where you can always add more wax and melt that in in a similar way. I thought it was so fun to see how the heat was affecting the surface and the pattern and the texture. And I also thought it looked kind of a lot like rainbow flames. So that's how it got its name, the fire rainbow. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want to see more of my world, check out my website, josielewis.com or anywhere in social media as Josie Lewis art. And again, don't forget to look at crayola.com slash crafts for some fun projects that you can do at home.